Our next speaker is a woman from Cork. She's a senior trade union member for most of her life. <coughs> Gina O'Brien is one of hundreds of trade union members around the country from all grades and professions who struggle for decent pay and condition for workers, but also demand human rights for mother and their unborn children. Can I ask you please to give a big welcome for Gina O'Brien. My name is Gina O'Brien and I'm from Cork City. I've been a supporter and member of the trade unions for most of my working life. As a mother and a grandmother, I know how precious human life can be from conception. I am proud to say that I'm associated with the trade union movement and I am an activist. I admire and commend the trade union movement on its democratic methods of seeking and obtaining its members' views and its decision-making process. The trade union movement has been instrumental in campaigning and gaining support for many social and civic issues since the beginning of the last century. Today's issues include the housing crisis, of which I am personally involved in campaigning, like the health crisis, the pensions issues and the water charges campaign. The trade union movement is to be commended for so many good campaigns, which mean so, many to, so much to our citizens, helping to improve their lives. I would encourage everybody to join a trade union and become actively involved in their branch and their committees. So why am I speaking here today? Today is a historic day in our country and it is only right that it is acknowledged and celebrated. Some of those who were involved in the 1916 Rising were members and active unionists and went on to become founding members of our trade union movement. Veterans whose beliefs were in fairness and equality for all people defending the interests of workers and in an effort to create an equitable and equal society for all. Our political leaders are seeking our permission to delete a vital section from our constitution so that they can legalize abortion. Our constitution was written on behalf for and for the Irish people. It is up to us to make sure that any changes are fair to all and are a real benefit to all citizens. I believe every human being has a right to life. The unborn are human beings also, and therefore equal status, the most basic of which is human life. There are circumstances where the creation of life wasn't planned or was on account of unacceptable actions of an evil person, but the baby is not the perpetrator and is innocent of all crime. If we opt to delete this protection from our constitution, we are guilty of the most horrendous crime. I quote Martin Luther King, civil rights leader, any law that uplifts human personality is just, any law that degrades human personality is unjust. We have been informed by medical doctors that taking the Eighth Amendment out of our constitution will not make women safer in pregnancy. It will simply allow our politicians to legalize abortion. And the reality is that doctors confronted with a perfectly healthy woman and a perfectly healthy pregnancy can be asked by law to either kill the unborn child or ask somebody else to do so. I believe the trade union's priority is and should be to protect members in the health service. When a woman's life is at risk, every effort is made by these staff to protect both. Sorry. Um, it can be heartbreaking when a child is born unhealthy or with a disability, and our trade union campaigns should force our politicians to make every effort to put resources in place to support these parents and children, both emotionally and financially. I believe the trade unions should focus on campaigns to increase supports for these children and their parents. What's needed is long-term planning to make life for these children secure and fulfilling as possible, and not a quick solution like aborting them before they are born. I read an article the other day where a woman was given her P45 after having a miscarriage. She said she cried, and then she cried again because her employer was so heartless. These are the issues that are important for a trade union to tackle and seek justice. To say that abortion is a woman's issue only is inaccurate, because every child conceived has a father and a mother. We are talking of equality, but where is the equality when men feel that they are being shut out of the debate? We talk of civil society, 
and to say that a society without legal abortion is a backward society is not right because in my view it is a much civilized society that values all life and cares for all its people from conception to death. The abortion referendum is a civil and social issue but what sets it apart from other civil and social issues supported by the trade union movement is that it is also a conscious issue for people. In my work as a trade unionist, I have met many trade union men and women who fully support the right to life. These men and women are robust men and women who have been involved in many battles on behalf of workers over the years. What I have found startling is that in this so-called liberal democracy, these strong people do not have the confidence to articulate their research and respectful views in public. The word that appears over and over again is in conversation is, such and such is pro-life, but she's in the closet. <laughs> I ask you, why is there a chilling effect among progressive people in civil society and trade union movement in participating respectfully in this debate? What role has the media in this chilling effect? I am standing here under the pillars of the GPO five weeks before the referendum and I am calling on all pro-life men and women within the trade union movement to come out of the closet and step into the sunshine. You will find you are not on your own but in good company. I am also calling the trade union movement itself to facilitate activists and staff to examine their own conscience, to make up their own minds and participate in the campaign to save the most important right of our generation. This is a politically divisive issue and trade unions have nothing to gain in funding and supporting an abortion campaign. The only ones to gain are the private abortion clinics who will spring up around the country and make huge profits. I had the opportunity to speak out sooner but I didn't because I thought I was alone. I'm speaking out now because this issue is too serious to ignore and I hope that I will make a difference. Please join me as together we will be stronger.